How can footballers change race to attitude? Um, I think uh, generally footballers um, have got quite a high profile, so you know they can reach out to, to people with um, things like the community and stuff like that, and you know, there's newspapers and interviews and that. So I suppose we can reach more of a general broad spectrum really with uh, the public that normal people can't, I suppose, get the message across. Yeah, I think kids generally want to do what footballers do, so if. Footballers are not racist, and if they follow our footsteps, then they won't be racist themselves. So. Mm. Thanks. All right. Mm. Very good. If you experience some racism on the pitch, how would you tackle it? There's nothing really. You you can do on the pitch, you know, you just hope. Are you talking about by a fellow footballer? Yeah. Opposition, yeah. There's nothing really you can do, you know. Um, just ignore it, I think. Yeah, you just have to ignore it. Um, there, there is actually nothing you can do, obviously, if the referee only uh, gets sent off and he will get punished, but as an individual, there's nothing you can do. You just have to get out of your head and concentrate on your game, I suppose. I think yeah, it will get picked up anyway by people watching and things like that. So it will be it will be taken up after the game. Right. So. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Adam, next. How many of your past teammates have been raced to you before? And if yes, how did it make you feel? Um. Well, I've never experienced. <laughs> Racism in a, in a football club before, not amongst the players especially. Um, obviously you see it on TV and things like that, but that's, that's really as close as I've, I've ever got to it. So no, I haven't. No, i never had a team maybe racist, or I've never heard any of the clubs I've been at. Um, maybe at school when I played football, if you played against mm -hmm. someone, uh, there's a bit of racism there, but never since I've been a footballer. Thank you. Right. <laughs> did you experience racism growing up and if so how do you make it feel? Um yeah I experienced a bit of it. Um and people probably just think probably from like white people but it's also from black people. Because I'm mixed race and a lot of black people don't like to see mixed race kids, you know, um white and black mixing, so it's from both sides. Um it, it's to do with jealousy, you know, a bit of jealousy, and especially if you're doing well, they'll try and put you down any way you can, and, can, and that's basically why I got a bit of racism, but it was only a little bit, um, I just ignored them, and um, I'm playing football, and they're struggling at the moment, so, you know, it's just, that's how I dealt with it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. We've got Jay. What advice would you give to people who have been um, abused by racism? Um, I'd probably just say, um, I suppose there's reasons behind it and at the end of the day if you don't react you'll be the bigger person. I think they, they've obviously got a problem and issues and whether they are jealous or they've um, they've got issues or they've been hurt in the past or something like that, I don't know, but if you just rise above it and, and I'm sure when they grow up and they kind of see um, how they've acted, they'll regret it, I think, because uh, there's no place for it. So, yeah, I just think, yeah, ignore it and be the bigger person. Yeah, I think that's definitely the right answer and the way to deal with it if you ignore them. They're, they're obviously doing it because they want to get a reaction out of you to hurt you, and if you show that you're not hurt, then they've not done their job. Thank you. <coughs> um, if you weren't a famous football player, um, would it be harder to deal with racism? Um, I don't think uh, it'd be harder, no, because I think obviously everyone can be affected by it in whatever walk of life you're in. Um, but like I say, the first question you had, um, I suppose people maybe sit up and take note of what we're saying because we're we're in more of the limelight and things like that so we can uh, we can when when we 
give our opinions and that it goes to a bigger audience rather than just um, your close family and friends. But um, yeah, I think um, that, uh, like I say, there's just no place for it and it will be pushed out. Thank you. Seven, what color? Mm -hmm. okay. well, why does racism exist? Um, it's just ignorance, really. You know, um, that's that's the only word I can use to describe it. You know, like I said earlier as well, jealousy. Um, people just like to hurt people if people are doing well or something like that. But um, there's no place for ignorance. Um. I think, yeah, that's the, the main word is ignorance. Like you say, people insecure and uh, obviously need to pick on other people to make themselves feel better. So I think that's where it can originate from. So, yeah, like I say, it's, it's uh, only a matter of time before it does because I think uh, the majority of people have got more sense than, than to be racist. Thank you. Where did you get your tattoos done? Where'd you get your tattoos now? School. <laughs> 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 Next we've got Joe. Oh, second last question. Hello, Joe. Um, how does racism make people feel? I think I think yes, yeah. Uh, that was the personal um, point where it can affect people in different ways. Um, I think um, I think maybe if you're exposed to it for the first time or first it'd be it might be quite difficult. But I think when you realise the, the meaning behind it and why people are actually doing it, I think you you, know, you just you, you grow up and you realise that they are just it's it's very silly and there's no need for it. But I think it can affect people and I think it can damage some people, especially if they're young and you know they're growing up and they're learning about life. But um, yeah, I think um, you, you see sense in the end. I think it's definitely a thing um, it's harder to deal with when you're younger because you don't know why it's happening but when you grow up you realise there's ignorance in the world and you deal with it and you realise that people are nothing to do with your life and they're not going to affect what you do and don't do in your life. Cheers. Last question now from Dale. Um, do, do you know anyone, like your friends at football, being racist or getting racist too? And how did they get punched by? Um, like I say, um, personally, I've, I mean, you see it in, uh, on TV and things like that, and maybe in, in different countries, but for me personally, no one's ever been racist <coughs> to me or any of my friends in my group of friends, you know, football, my football clubs that I've been at previously. So, um, I've not got much personal experience in it, but I just see generally what goes on in the world, yeah. Yeah, it happens more in other countries, you know. If you see England go and play in other countries, if we've got other players or different types of players playing for the country, you see sometimes they get a bit of stick. And um, I think the authorities um, ban the people from going and watch the games and stuff like that. Um, there's nothing really more they can do, but... Yeah, I think that's probably the right way of de de dealing with it, um, just banding them from watching football because there is no place in it. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. So thank you so much for answering all those and really tough questions there and answered them really yeah, well. No um, well, you can have some just for the like, 10 guys here at day. You like yeah, the signing? Yeah. Fantastic.